Good morning. My name is Chididay Epsim Birai, and I'm reporting English. Let's talk about synonyms, a word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another. Word or phrase in the same language. For example, shut is a synonym of close. Example, afraid, scared, frightened. Another example, big, large, huge. Next is antonyms, a word opposite, opposite in, in meaning to another. Example, big, small. Another example, hot, cold. Next is homonyms, each of two or more words having the same spelling or pronunciation but different meanings and origins example bail to clear water bail release of a prisoner another example bright for very smart or intelligent and bright for filled with light next is heteronyms each of two or more words that are spelled in identically but have different sounds and meanings such as leer meaning rip and leer meaning liquid from the eye example sentence close the windows as the storm is getting close another example sentence i'd like to present you with a birthday present Close is the heteronyms and the present is the heteronyms. Next is complete subject. The complete subject is the simple subject and all the words that describe or explain it. A complete subject is all of the words that tell whom or what a sentence discusses. Example, simple subject. The man with the marbles is here. The man is the complete subject. Another example, three cardboard boxes remain in the vacant house. Com three cardboard boxes is the complete subject. Next is complete predicate. A complete predicate consists of both the verb of a sentence and the words around it example the man with the marbles is here with the marbles is here is the complete predicate another example the cardboard boxes remain dead in the vacant house house the remained in the vacant house is the complete predicate now let's have an exercise Complete subject and complete predicate. The box on the table is mine. The box is the complete subject. On the table is mine is the complete predicate. Another example. The bread for dinner was dinner was burned. The bread is the complete subject. For dinner was burned is the complete predicate. That's all. Thank you.